on today's agenda. Rest in peace, Double K. A really dope MC from a really dope group made their beats the way we like beats made and gone too soon. Um, I've seen Double K live a few times. I think I opened up for him once or old people under the stairs. And uh, super strange, just the way, you know, Rolling Stones giving him shout outs and you know, everybody's like, but like, dude, when he was alive, those guys never got any love from, you know, those types of portals. So it's really sad. Um, you know, you're not missed till you're gone, or you're not here till you left. Super bizarre, but super dope. Rest in peace. Also, rest in peace at Meth Doom. I mean, just two, you know, kind of different ends of the spectrum, but the same tree. Hip hop heads. Uh, I'm a huge MF Doom fan. Probably my favorite rapper. Um, and he passed away. I guess freaking October, but they didn't say it till New Year's Eve or whatever. But super random. Sucks. It's so dope. Everybody loved him. I and mean, I mean, he got the. You know, he was. He had the numbers to back up. You know, everybody talking about him. <laughs> but also the talent and uh, the hip hop -ness. Um Also, it's weird because like all these deaths and then nothing's ever in print. If you think of like people that you were fans of or admired and if you didn't know them personally, you'd never really find out how they died. Um, I guess it's none of our business, but it's like, dude, you always want to know. And then you think like six months later, you're going to get the answer and you're never, you're never going to find it. Um, the stimulus money is an interesting concept because obviously we love free money. Uh, we love, you know, being hooked up when times are rough, pandemic, you know, economic collapse, bank bailouts or whatever. But the long-term effects, you know, the value of the dollar, our position, the global economy, kind of scary. I don't think you can write trillion dollar stimuluses and have it not affect you know, our money long term, it's, it's impossible. So, kind of scary where you're like, what does that mean? Does that mean uh, we're just putting a band aid on it now because it's a bullet wound <laughs> and you don't want to see it and we're just going to bleed out? Um, I hope not. I hope they got a plan for that. Also, along with that, is, you know, another. Thing with the minimum wage increase which obviously I think is fantastic except what will it do to the dollar will it make it where let's say I guess the federal minimum wage is around seven bucks which is ridiculous but I think um, when you pump it up to 15 it's double so now does that three dollar loaf of bread now cost six so what's the difference I, I don't know it doesn't make any sense to me but I think uh, it will uh, affect stuff long term and it's inevitable and usually in the worst. So mark this day, I guess, when you start thinking about it, we're standing in lines for loaves of bread. Um, Super Bowl's on Sunday and I was interested because, first off, I think NFL is like a communist plot to like control masses or whatever, but I heard um, Coca-Cola, Budweiser weren't going to have ads this year, which obviously the Super Bowl, it's, you know, the ads are more entertaining, the commercials are more entertaining. I wasn't sure what was going on. I don't know why Coca-Cola did it, but Budweiser did it, and instead of doing it, they're taking that money and they're, they're putting it towards COVID relief, which I thought was really cool because, I mean, their eyeballs on the ads are they're probably worth more than whatever, you know, giving away money for COVID, but... That's how it goes. My neighbors are building a house, so it's like bulldozers in the background, which is obviously insane. And then uh, I was thinking about the uh, the GameStop stock run up, and how you know these hedge funds had it shorted, and the internet was powerful enough to make it skyrocket, and these fools lost billions. And it's like, look at you guys, you get to taste your own medicine, right? Like, how does it feel? It's kind of cool that the internet is that powerful when um, used for that. I mean, obviously there's all the, you know, just buy body organs or whatever, but that's horrible. And then um, 
Yeah, short sales are pretty scary, man, because like they, they'll take any of them and then not not press them out. And then uh, I finally, dude, I, I love mafia movies, but I finally watched the Godfather trilogy. <laughs> and I mean, what is it, 40, 50 years later? I know it was made probably before I was born, but um, or at least the first one. And so I uh, was like, oh, I'm not going to watch this. I can sit down and watch them all. And so I did. It was like nine hours or whatever. And. You know, obviously the first one's fantastic, second one's really good. Third one was just so bizarre in the corporate overtaking of the Vatican and the mafia. Like I was just like, whoa, it, it basically sucked and I don't even know why they put it together. And then I I watched all the special effects because I had like the box set or special features. Super interesting, the music and like, you know, I didn't even realize like the, the baby in the second one or the first one is actually Sofia Coppola who's obviously Francis Ford Coppola's daughter. And then she played uh, Michael Corleone's daughter in the third one, which I thought was super bizarre. I thought it was awesome because she makes movies and she was in that movie. And I don't know, it's kind of like a family affair. Um, also, like the music was done by his dad who won an Oscar, never had a, or not an Oscar, what do you win, an Emmy or, I don't even know, whatever you win for music. Maybe it was an Oscar for film music. But whatever he won, awards and stuff. And I guess he had been a musician his whole life and never really, uh, made any magic so it was cool to see that and then um i'm about to put out another noise project um this is some of a sample of some of the samples obviously that'll uh be flipped up some other stuff but that was just some noise I made because I freaking love I even mic'd up the bulldozer next door uh, you hear it you hear it the guy needs to fix his timing belt or something it's like squealing and that's it folks um, another day in paradise covered the GameStop stocks the Godfather trilogy. Oh, so I finished the short stories by Glendon Swarthout called Eastern Western. It's like a 200 page book, super good. Uh, basically just a collection of short stories, mostly written in like the 50s, 60s, maybe some in the late 70s. And um, I found it at a thrift store, charged through it, and uh, it's cool. So if you ever check them out, Glendon Swarthout, I think it's his name or how you pronounce it. I don't know if the H is silent, but um, pretty cool, you know. It's good to find random stuff you read that you enjoy, makes your mind kind of spin.